Hello, my name is IFXHD, you can call me first, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This time we're playing a brand new map with a twist. Satoshi's Treasure Episode 1, a map by Box. Why does this have a twist? Well, this map is a quest for real treasure. And real treasure means Bitcoins. So from playing this map, you'll be able to get code fragments which unlock a private key to unlock a Bitcoin account with a Bitcoin in it. Now, this can get a little bit twisted because these code fragments can get picked up along the way. However, you can pick up incorrect code fragments. So what you think you're doing right all along could be incorrect and you could not you may not have the correct private key to unlock the bitcoin account it has one bitcoin in it and that's worth about 240 dollars according to the thread so that is the treasure hunt map anyway set up singlet yeah it did yeah 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 uh, wait my particles are still on minimal because i tried doing a map ages ago but it didn't work out oh no there we go oh there we go uh Player normal, it's locked to normal, you can break a craft, cool. Following the story path is highly recommended, that's what I was going to do. Try not, try to hack the puzzles, is not recommended, wasn't going to do it anyway. Resource pack test, you should hear a bell. Yes, I do. And uh, now, let's start the game. Oh, nice windows, that's the first thing I've noticed. Alright, what's in this chest? Wood planks, wheat, axe, string, torches, and cobblestone. Nice, let's go downstairs. What's in this chest? Oh, I hear some banging at the door, is there a zombie? Oh. Chet, your market has passed you again. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Can I give it to you tomorrow? We've played this game for the last four months. Let's try something different. I'll take your horse instead for collateral. Oh, not my horse. My horse. What, cinnamon? Yeah, cinnamon over there. You can have her back once I'm paid. Oh, fine then. You can't do that. I think he can. The alternative is, I take your house and you have nowhere to live. Oh, poor Cinnamon. <laughs> Alright. Oh, go take Cinnamon. Oh, Cinnamon just disappeared. Bye, Cinnamon. Maybe Sarah has some work available at the bakery. Yep, yeah, we're going to have to go and see Sarah at the bakery. But first, I'm going to see who's in this house. I wonder if there's other people. Is there anything in here? Oh, oh it's cooked chicken and coal. Sure, I'll take that. Raw chicken. Fine, let's cook some raw chicken whilst I wander around the house. Not sure if I'll get more food. Like if I'll it will, it will, it will, if it will be done in time. Got more torches there. Is there anything at all upstairs? Anything? Leather armor. Cool. Anything here? Iron sword. Lovely jubbly chicken bubbly. Let's eat some chicken already because I'm getting hungry. What's in this room? Anything interesting? No. Nothing interesting at all. Anyway, let's go downstairs. And out the door because I think I've looted this house. Oh, I better check the furnace. Uh, seems to be done. Good. I have more food for my adventures. Is there anything in this house over here? Anyone? Hello? Ding dong. Anyone here? Only torches, of course. There's torches in every single house, it seems. Not sure why. Oh, more coal, but I don't need it. I don't think I'll need this coal as well, so I might throw this out in a sec. Oh, crap. This one's sleeping. Bear, nudge up quick. Sorry, I'll leave you there. Uh, who's in this room? No one's in this room. Only more torches, sticks, and even a pickaxe. So I'm getting every tool, I just need a shovel. I think I'm done raiding this house. I wonder what's in there. I'm gonna go in there in a sec, but first we need to go to this one. Hello, hello Steven. I don't know who Steven is, but I know his name somehow. I now I'll take that stone sword just in case I need it later on, but I doubt I will because I've got an iron one to go <laughs> at people. Who are you? And now we're going into this huge building. I'm not sure what this huge building is. It might be a school. So, if that's the case, I'm currently raiding a school. I don't think it is. I think it may be flats or something. So, flats or apartments. Whatever it is, there's bathrooms and every single thing. Oh, wow. Why does everyone have coal and torches? I'm not going to go raiding downstairs. Just in case. Yeah, it looks like it's just more apartments. So, let's see. Oh, this looks like a little village. What is in this village? We have armor by the looks of it. Oh, look at these. It's a hat store, boot store, clothes and everything. That's so cool. Oh, hello, Fraser. Hello. Will you be purchasing anything today? I I'd like to purchase a hat and boots because I don't have anything yet. Perhaps a pretty hat for your friend, Sarah. Well, I haven't seen Sarah yet, so I don't know if she'll be any use. 
she might just be, you know, a friend. Who's this? Oh, and here's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Need any help? Oh, hi, Fraser. Hello. Not today, sorry. I haven't many customers lately. But you've got delicious cakes. That's okay. I'm sure business will pick up. It better do. How's your father? What happened to her father? What happened to her father? He's alright, but his dream is getting expensive. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to afford them. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. That's Sarah's voice. That's terrible. Hey, can I buy you his blanket? It'll help you sleep better. Of course, that's what friends are for. Yep, yeah, can I have some cake? Thanks, Rosa. I'll go back to my house and find it for you. Is that the end of the conversation? Cool, okay. I, is there any chests with cake in them? Nah. Anything in here? Oh! <gasps> Ooh, cake and pumpkin pie. Good finds by me. Good job, Fraser. Okay, let's have a look at the other houses before we go back home. Looks like we have a flower shop here with Fiona. Are you sorry to get to the flower festival next week? Uh, no, that's a shame. Yeah, I'm running off. I'm sorry. You guys make the prettiest flower arrangements every year. Well, not anymore. Don't you worry. Sarah's father is a fighter. Yes, you're in. You're right, indeed, Dante. We've got fortune still for a month's end. I think I've seen every shop except from that one over there. Then we need to go home and see what the what the where the blanket is. I haven't seen it. Oh, is your payment ready yet? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Right, I didn't think so. Yep, you you're indeed correct. You don't have a name. You can have cinnamon back until you can't have cinnamon back until I'm paid. Oh, well I know that. Let's get some more food in my inventory. Let's put you there. Bam, bam, bam. Cool. Eat some pumpkin. Oh, I don't know what restores more. I'll just eat cooked chicken for now, whatever. Anyway, we need to go home and get that warm blanket. I haven't seen it when I was looking around earlier, though, so I'm not too sure where that warm blanket can be. Oh, God, is there an earthquake? What's happening here? What just happened? Oh, gosh, are you okay, Fraser? I hope so. Is she singing? There's a huge hole under my house now. I'm gonna try to find that warm blanket. What's the box down in the hall? There's a box. Let's see. Oh. Oh, there is a box. Let's pick up all this dirt just in case I need to tower out. There's a bunch of bones. There is code fragment. Uh, there's Satoshi's journal and a map. Okay. Well, let's read this, shall we? Right. Inside Satoshi's journal. Here lies my secret and my legacy. My name was Satoshi, and I was the creator of a vast financial empire. People say I changed the world, but that was not my intent. Some people call me a revolutionary, but no, this was just evolution. I gained great wealth and power, but I did not want either. Criminals wanted my wealth, and government wanted my power. Thus I was forced to stay underground. My wealth will now become part of my legacy. Here lies one of the fragments that unlock my financial empire. And the remaining fragments are spread across the island of Volxeros. Buried in ruins, buried by time. Only those capable of following in my path can obtain them. The mammoth machine will decide if you are worthy of my legacy. I have no idea what any of that is. Right, this tower out. I'm not sure what I have to do with this now. Oh my god, I can't believe this is it! So I must have been anticipating it. I've got a code fragment, which I believe I need to note down because this could be part of the private key. Anyway. What's that now, Fraser? It's a treasure map, is it? Oh, it is. It's a massive X. Is this for real? Is this for real? Yeah, look at this map and journal. Do I hand it over? I, d I don't want to hand it over. Just look at it. You see it right here? I guess it wouldn't hurt. We could both use the money. D but what if I just want the money? Nah, I need to help out your father. Let's make us a surprise and we'll see where this map leads. Okay, Sarah joins you. Where did Sarah go? She just like flew into me and then vanished. Okay, well, I think we're going to have to follow along this path. Yeah, it seems like... Yeah. Let's go follow along this path. We found all the supplies we need. I didn't know Sarah existed until, like, beforehand. So I'm going to note down a secret key. Sorry, I just had, like, a little throat spasm. So, notepad. There we go. Notepad, desktop, app. So, code fragment, it was DH, right? So let's write down DH. Yes, code fragment. DH. Now you can play along with this if you want to try the treasure hunt yourself. Of course, I'll be releasing this in episodes. So chances are that you'll be able to complete this map before this entire episode is released. Well, when I say it, yeah, it is episode. Um, 
there's episodes on my videos and there's episodes of the map. There's going to be five episodes. This is currently episode one, so there will be a long time before the final treasure account is released to everyone to try and crack the code. So let's go along this path. So yeah, you can play, you can play along. You can try and get the treasure for yourself. That's the, that's if nobody has claimed it beforehand. So if you do claim the treasure, please tell me down below because it would be amazing to see if you do claim the treasure. It's an interactive treasure hunt, and it's real life treasure for real life money. Now, what's the, what was that? What did that sign say? I kind of skipped past it. Bridge out, no crossing. Oh, this was a bridge. I thought it was like a scar in the landscape. That would have been a bit bad. Oh. Let's not jump down there, shall we? Okay, so it looks like we have to go off in this direction towards this big red X. Uh, is there a red X in the sky? Because I can't see it on the ground. I mean, who would put a red X on the ground anyway? That would be too suspicious. Oh, I've got an egg as well. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. Anyway, moving on to this. I think this is the red X right here. Ooh, why have I gone past it? Wait, Fraser. I am waiting. Are you sure we're ready for this? Okay, it is in here. It's pretty dark down there. It's okay, I've got torches. Uh, let's put some torches in my inventory. If we were on 1.9, I'd be dual wielding torches and swords. W what did that say? Checkpoint! Ah, oh, yes! If I die, I get to go back here. Oh, shoot. Okay, it looks like we need to go down. Let's put Satoshi's journal here. Let's put the map in here. Put this here, and let's put some cobble stuff. No, let's put some dirt in here just in case we need some nerd pole. Out! Right. In we go to the depths of the cave. Are we ready? Let's hope so. Down we go. Okay, what's in here? It looks like there's some enemies already. Do I have to mine this coal? I'm not too sure. I hope not, but I'm going to place down these torches as we go along. Oh, hello, you. Let's die. It's better if you die and get out of the way so I can carry on with my quest. Alright, let's see what's in this room. Because there was a mob spawner. Uh, oh, there's a lot of rooms. What's in here? <gasps> creepers, creepers, creepers. That's not good. Oh, chain helmet. That's just what I need. Thank you, creepers. Hello, welcome. Uh, I need to mine this. Get out of the way. Don't any more creepers. Lovely. What about in here? There's a bunch of beds, a flag. Uh, I'll keep that flag there for now. Let's put down a torch. Oh, come on, skeleton diapers. Okay, only one hit from a skeleton so far. Lovely. Let's put that there. Don't need to mine it. We'll be wasting time otherwise. What's in here? Oh, it's a little chest. Oh, bow and arrow. Don't mind if I do. Let's take that, thank you very much. And it looks like there is a save point, but it's not night time yet, so I'll do that later if I come back. And there are some boots. I'll take those boots, please. Thank you very much. I am now all geared up. Woo! This is pretty intense so far. Looks like there's iron, so I might mind that. We might need to smelt it later on. It'd be cool if we could, because I'd love to... Oh, no. Spitter, go away! Oh, no, it's even a zombie, zombie villager. And a bunch of other zombies. This is going to get very intense. Please go away. Right, that's good. Let's quickly mine up this. Because we will need it later on, I reckon, so we can get better gear. Looks like... Oh, no. Just activated them. Creepers as well. No good. No fun. Let's lure them over here. Hopefully I can get a creeper to block the zombies. Come on, block the zombies. That'd be nice. Lovely. That saves me a job. Okay, let's put a torch on this creeper over here. And in this next room is... More creepers. Oh, I killed it. Okay. Bam. Put down a torch here, torch here. Run out the way. There's a bunch of numbers on the floor as well. I'm not sure if you saw that. There we go. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm running out of time. All these spawners. I keep spawning some zombies. Not good. Okie dokie. You are all out the way. And I forgot to mention at the start, this is like the first solo video I've done in absolutely ages. It's been so long since I have done a video by myself. How are you spawning? Now that you're out of the way, what do we have here? We have what seems to be... Uh, I'm just going to press on that. There are some numbers missing on the floor. I know. Wow, I think this is one of Satoshi's puzzles. It looks like a Sudoku board. Sudoku, Sudoku, however you want to pronounce it. It's definitely a pattern to these numbers. You know it. I know how to do Sudoku. I've done it for ages. Each row... Yep, I know that. You don't need to explain Sudoku. So I'm going to put all of this in my inventory out the way. Let's get on with Sudoku, and I think I'll call it a day there. So, we have one. One cannot go in this row, one cannot go in this row, one cannot go in this column, one cannot go in this column, therefore, the one must go here. That's a three. Great. Great job, me. I'm an absolute 
moron. Okay, good thing we can pick it back up, unlike some other maps where they don't drop. So one goes there. Two. Two cannot go in this row. Two cannot go in this row. Two cannot go in this column. Two cannot go in this column. Therefore, it must go in the middle. Three cannot go in this row. Three cannot go in this row. Therefore, three must go there because it's the only remaining spot. Four cannot go in this column. Four cannot go in this column, and four cannot go in this row, therefore four must go there. Five cannot go in this column, five cannot go in this column, therefore five must go there as it's the only remaining spot. Six obviously cannot go in this column because there's no spots left. Six cannot go in this one, and it cannot go in this row, so it must go there. Seven cannot go in this column, seven cannot go in that row, therefore it must go there. Eight cannot go in this row, so it must go there. And nine, that's the only remaining spot. Now what do I do? I guess I put this back into my inventory just in case I get surprise detect. I think there's some spiders up here so I need to watch out. Oh no, no spiders, just a button saying when done press locate fragment. Those worthy may take one code fragment so I think I'm done there, I'm pretty sure I'm done, just gonna double check. No, that, yeah it seems right, sure, bam. I hear rumbling. Looks like a vault's unlocking somewhere. Oh, yellow. Yellow. I think it's just double checking that everything's good. I hope to god it's good. If it's not, then I may get the wrong code fragment. It's that one. Okay, let's go up there. <laughs> that was pretty cool. There was the doorbell from the resource pack test in the beginning. Alright, no pull up there. And we have code fragment KM. Let's write that down. So, so far it's DHKM. I hope that's the right one. What's in here? HLJO. KB, FB, oh wow, so if I've got it wrong, then this could be the wrong code fragment, and I hope to god it's not the wrong one, because you have no idea how much $240 would do, I'd be able to do so many giveaways and upgrade some equipment. Okay, so I think I will leave it there, that's been a good 15-20 minutes, so thank you for watching Satoshi's Treasure Part 1, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, as it does support me, I've been talking for a lot throughout this video, I haven't done a solo video in a while, so I'm getting back into it, so leave a comment if you want to see another episode, if you are going to play along, link in the description down below to download, and I'll see you all on my next video, goodbye!